Hi everyone, this is Peter Renton, founder of Lend Academy, and welcome to the Lend Academy podcast, session number 14. Okay, today on the podcast, I am delighted to welcome Dara Albright. She is one of my fellow co founders of the Lendit Conference, and we are going to be discussing Lendit 2014. Now, right now, we have almost 800 people signed up. And so, if you're one of those people, then I highly recommend you listen to this podcast. You'll get some background and find some information that will help you get the most out of this conference. And if you haven't decided whether to attend or not, then uh, we will certainly give you some compelling reasons to do so. Enjoy the show. Thanks. Okay. Welcome to the podcast, Dara. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much for having me, Peter. Okay. So let's just launch into it with describing a little bit about yourself and your background and how you became involved in this industry. Great. Yeah. So, so first of all, you know, I, I come from a very traditional Wall Street background, you know, very conventional investment banking, institutional equity sales and, and, and IPO execution. And, and that's kind of, you know, my background. You know, I, I came out of a firm called Unterberg Tobin, which was sort of known back in the day for taking very high profile technology companies public. Uh, and in fact, they took Intel public back in, in 1971. Wow. And yeah, and, and, you know, it it was an incredible experience working with them in the nineties. And it it was for me, you know, such a privilege to have the opportunity to be really part of that whole process of really helping these, you know, helping the people's capital reach this innovation. Mm -hmm. And, you know, especially back at that time when companies were going public as very small cap companies, the majority of the, the appreciation was realized by uh, the, the investing public. Right. And, you know, uh, you know, unfortunately, that's kind of not the world we, we live in anymore. But I became sort of fascinated with this space in 2010, late 2010, because I started getting really interested in social media. And I started looking at how the new, these new companies that were emerging in the space how they were transforming mass communications, and how they were beginning to impact the financial industry. And I started doing some extensive research on the history of the markets and and came up with this theory that it's been this innovation or invention in mass communications that has historically been the impetus for economic growth. Uh You know, if you look at the radio in the 20s, it inspired that great bull market television inspired the next bull market in the 50s and the internet in the 90s. You know, and it just felt to me like through social media, you know, we were entering the next iteration of mass communications and, you know, and and it would have the ability to basically foster this next period of, of prosperity. So through blogging and events, I started speaking about the problems with, with the current market structure because unfortunately, you know, in today's day, unlike when I was with Unterberg, when these small companies like Intel would be able to go public at, you know, as a small cap company, you know, these social media companies like Facebook and Twitter, you know, they were going public, you know, billions upon billions in, in, in market cap capitalization, right. yep. you know, and, you know, it, it basically, you know, it, it really changed the entire landscape of investing. And so, you know, I, I started really, when I started speaking about it and, and, and I started noticing how social media in tandem with some of this new securities legislation that was being discussed around Congress, you know, I, it looked like it, this could offer a real viable solution to a lot of the problems with market structure. Mm-hmm. So in the fall of 2010, the uh, House Financial Services Committee, they had just passed a bundle of bills, which later became known as the Jobs Act. And I wrote an article called Bipartisanship Prevails for Job Creation. And in it, I talk about this concept of crowdfunding and how it's a true game changer and would level the investment playing field. And I sent that article to Congressman McHenry. He was the congressman that introduced the original Crowdfund Act. Right. And he agreed to headline an event that I was producing in January 2012. And that really became the industry's first major crowdfunding event. 
And it was exciting because it was the first time Wall Street was really even introduced to this concept of crowd finance. Right. And, right. you know, after that, I just continued to really be an advocate for the Jobs Act and, and host similar events, you know, basically across the country. Okay. Okay. And so then you you had a couple of these or a few of these events and then you know, you decided that you were going to, you know, move directly into, into like the peer to peer lending space because, you know, just so the listeners know, I like in, in January of last year, January 2013, I received an email from Dara saying, Hey, are you interested in helping out with a, a, a conference focused around peer to peer lending? And of course I said yes. But so what, what led you to, to send that email out to me to reach out? to do a conference specifically just, you know, on the P2P lending space. Yeah, I, in fact, you know, it's funny. I, I was looking on my LinkedIn last night, and the email was January 14th, 2013. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, Jason Jones, who's another Lendit co-founder, he was a frequent speaker at a lot of these events that I was doing. And I did an event in New York in December 2012 where Jason was speaking and we just started, you know, talking about the industry. And he said, you know, P2P is exploding. You know, we should really put together an event focused on the debt side of the industry. Mm -hmm. So when I, you know, I got home and I just started doing extensive research on, on P2P. And, you know, Lend Academy became my Bible, so to speak. <laughs> I mean, it was my go-to source of information. Well, thank you. Wow. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it's just an incredible resource of information. And that's when, I, you know, I reached out to you. And I guess it was not long after that, you know, you and I flew to New York. We met with Jason and his partner, Bo. And it was just kind of one of those rare moments in life when the right idea with the right team at the right time just all came together. And, you know, that was how Lendit was formed. Yep, yep. No, that was – and I, I I agree with that. I love – you know, it was, it was a great uh, – it was great – time and it was it was hard work and in, but enjoyable work putting on that first conference so let's you know so lend it 2013 happened in uh, um, June of last year and can you just tell us tell us a little bit about that conference um, how it went just just so the, the listeners who weren't aware of it back then can get some idea of, of the first lend it Sure. So I, I really think Lended 2013 exceeded all of our expectations. Yeah, for sure. You know, when we originally started, we had no idea how much interest that that this conference was going to generate, and you know, it, you know, and it was also the interest from all of the emerging platforms, leading platforms, veteran investors, individual investors. It was really incredible. And, you know, as we started last spring to see the demand for tickets as it just continued to accelerate. You know, I, I realized something really transformative was happening in the credit markets. But, you know, it, truthfully, the enthusiasm on the day of the event last year was truly beyond anything I had ever encountered in, in all my 22 years on Wall Street. I hmm. mean, it was just, you know, you just knew. You, you knew that, that you were on the forefront of something very big about to happen in financial services. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, and I, was, I remember that it was there were so many people who – you know, who were saying, oh, look, this is the first one, but it's going to, it's going to be, it's going to get so much bigger, which, uh, which segues into my next question. Yeah. So we're, we're recording this. It's April 28th. We're a few days away from, from Lender 2014. And what can you just tell us how, how, how is the event shaping up this year? The, the event shaping up this year is, is terrific. I mean, it's, it's, you know, as, as great as it was last year, we are really exceeding all of our, even our expectations for this year. You know, the response really has been even more remarkable than it was last year. This year, we have every major player in the industry will be attending. You know, we have the platforms, the institutional fund managers, family offices, individual investors, VCs, and they're all flying in from all over the world to attend this year's Lendit conference. Mm -hmm. You know, we've expanded the program from one day to two. We've added so many incredible features. There are going to be so many events that are being planned just around the program. And it's, it's really shaping up to be, you know, a, a, another industry defining event. Mm -hmm. Yep, I couldn't couldn't agree more, Dara. <laughs> okay, so so let's just talk about the sponsors. Give them a bit of a shout out. Who who are the major sponsors for for this event this year? Yeah. So and 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 you know, and the demand also for sponsorship, as you know, has been incredible. And mm -hmm. even with one week to go, we're even still receiving sponsorship requests. 
We have all of the industry leaders signed up. We have Lending Club, the world's largest platform, as our headline sponsor. Uh, Prosper, the number two, is our platinum. Funding Circle, the largest global peer-to-business platform, has signed on as our gold. We have a new up-and-comer, RaiseWorks, signed up as a gold. Uh, and, we, you know, we have a lot of recognized names, such as SoFi, OnDeck, uh, Cabbage, and then we have even, you know, in just the services side of the industry, you know, we have Millennium uh, Trust and Kingdom Trust companies that are in the custodial space, getting very active in the space. We have funds like Blue Elephant and direct lending and, you know, and new funds that, that are emerging and, and expanding that are really looking to have a presence at LendIt. So, you know, the, we have now... Uh, uh, you know, we have over 40 somewhat sponsors and, you know, it's just really, it's really shaping up fantastic. Right. And yeah, I also, one, 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 one I just want to add is Orchard, who are actually our very first sponsor. For, they were the very first people to sign up to sponsor Lend at 2014. And they're one of the, they're emerging as one of the leading companies to create the the PDP lending ecosystem and uh, excited to have them on board. So let's, let's yeah, just... I'm excited to, to uh, see their presentation too. Yep. Yep. So and just so not, not the listeners are going to be aware of how we're structuring this. And, you know, we are going to have an exhibit hall that uh, where, where our sponsors can, you know, can meet, can meet directly with, uh, with attendees. Can you just tell us a little bit about that, that exhibit hall? Sure. So we've we've maxed out nearly 10,000 square feet of exhibit space this year uh, with all of our, our exhibitors. And, you know, I'm really excited actually to visit all the booths, you know, and in addition to the exhibit hall, which we do something that I think is really unique in our conferences is that we strategically position all of the networking breaks and, and the meals around the exhibitors. Mm-hmm. So, it, it, you know, our exhibit hall is not just about, you know, wandering around and, and seeing what companies are up to. It is real, true networking and really getting to know people. You know, this year, in addition to the exhibit booths, we're also going to be featuring a number of live company presentations, as we talked about, and, and some demos from these exhibitors and sponsors. And we've also invited a lot of other platforms that we found compelling, too, to, to demo their technology or their, their uh, products. And I'm really interested in seeing a lot of these company demos. You know, it, it, I'm really excited to get, the, uh, you know, a sense of some of the new infrastructure that's being developed that, you know, to support the industry, like you mentioned, with, with Orchard and, and a number of others as well as to see how much our returning companies like Cabbage, On Deck, Sofa, I mean, all these companies have grown over the past year. Right, yep. You know, and it's just really thrilling to watch the industry progression through the, the lended participants. Mm-hmm. Yep, for sure. There's, you know, we've, we have all of our, you know, pretty much most all of our sponsors from 2013 coming back, and then a lot of them, uh, they're, they're many times bigger than they were, uh, you know, one year ago. And it's yeah, always exciting raised, to see. Uh, yeah, they've raised a, a you know a substantial amount of capital. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For sure. As so, well. so let's just let's let's switch gears to the agenda, the actual program itself. Um, you know, we, we so we have two days of uh, of sessions, and can you just talk about some of the you know some of the things that are happening, some of the major presentations? What's um, who's who's coming and who's talking? Sure. So the program, once again, is going to be packed with educational content, and it's content that will really enable the attendees to remain on the forefront of this ever-evolving online lending industry. We have over 100 speakers this year. Uh, mm-hmm. We're honored to have, once again, with us Renaud LaPonche, uh, the CEO of Lending Club, and he'll be delivering the opening keynote, which will be expanding on his presentation from LendIt 2013 about the transformational impact of peer-to-peer lending. On our second day uh, keynote, it's opening up with Michael Barr, who is a former assistant secretary of the U.S. Department of Treasury, also a special advisor to President Clinton. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's also a lending club advisor as well. And, you know, he's going to be providing significant insight on the evolving regulatory landscape. And, you know, I I, I think, you you know, as the legislation and the regulations are, are, you know, completely changing and moving, you know, I'm really excited to to add a lot of the regulatory components to lend it this year. Mm -hmm. 
Sure. I'm also excited to hear Ron Suber's industry summation once again. The, we're going to hear the venture perspective from Charles Moldo of Foundation Capital. Mm-hmm. And, you know, for me personally, I'm really excited to hear Sam Hodges, uh, the managing director of Funding Circle, provide some insight on the global peer-to-business landscape. Just because for me, you know, helping small businesses access the capital needed to innovate and create jobs is something I'm particularly passionate about. Right. Um, but I'm also really interested in this year's fireside chat with Barclays Africa and Rainson mm-hmm. and understanding, you know, what motivated a global banking firm to take a 49% in a P2P platform. And is this, you know, where we're headed, yep. you know, with a lot of other deals. Um, I'm also excited for all the panel discussions, you know, the, you know, in interacting with all the key experts and consumer, small business, student, international online lending, and really diving into topics like the technology and the online lending infrastructure, alternative data and securitization. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now, I, I, when, when you talk about that, I sometimes, I sometimes wish that I could just go and attend the lended conference and not actually have to work <laughs> it because it's, uh, there are so many interesting sessions, but the, the good news is I know that I'm, I'm not going to be able to get to see everything I, I want to see as, you know, as we are, you know, the two of us are actually working the event, but we are recording everything. So I know that over the next uh, couple of weeks after the conference I'll be able to sit back and and watch uh, watch all the sessions uh, from the comfort of my own my own home computer here <laughs> exactly in fact that that's last year I learned you know participated more in, in the panels and the and the presentation from watching it online <laughs> yeah no I did too I, 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 I was that was a great uh, a great thing to have and you know and keep in mind that we just so the listeners know, we have we have two tracks, just like we did last year, where we have we've got the sort of the panel and presentations track in the main ballroom, and then you know directly underneath the floor below, just zip down the escalators at the Hilton. There, we will have the workshop and demo track, and you know that. I mean, I, for me, I, I love to go and get you know down in some of the details here. With you know, we've got so many companies demoing. There's so many, there's so many interesting new platforms. There's interesting new technology companies that are that are emerging that that will be you know demoing their stuff on the yeah you know, on that second track. And you know, this year, unlike last year, we're we're recording both tracks. So I think that will be um, you know that will be available to you know to everybody to kick back and you, you can't you can't be in two places at once so you know that's that's one of the reasons why we wanted to we wanted to put that together so you you will be able to you know re- watch the entire conference you know over the course uh, yeah once we get everything edited and up on the web that everyone will be able to watch both tracks and, and, I, and you're right and i think that the um the, the video alone w- will be such an educational resource for the industry as a whole Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, right. So then, let's just let's talk about uh, who's coming. I know we 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 have, yeah. You know, we as, as we talked about, we have pretty much every platform globally. But who's? Can you give the listeners just a sense of the of the breakdown? The typical, you know, who who is attending Lend at twenty fourteen. So we have, you know, we have their, the, the, the space is just exploding with, 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 you know, new platforms. And we have platforms from all across the globe that are attending. We have, you know, a real great blend of financial veterans, venture capitalists, institutional fund managers, family offices, you know, individual investors. Uh, you know, we, we have uh, media. I mean, it, it's, it's just a great blend of attendees from like last year and, and coming in just from all over the world and, you know, it's expanding on what we had last year. Mm-hmm. We're expecting over 800 this year. And, you know, you know the registrations are still keep coming in. Yep, I know. We're, we're, so we still have a few days to go, and we're not quite at 800 yet, but I, I'm very confident that we'll, we'll go well past that number by the time – yeah, you know, Sunday night rolls around, and you know I, I, we should also point out last year at 2013 we had 350 people. So like the rest of the industry, we are more than doubling every year. It seems like so. We'll exactly. see if we, we'll see if 2015 can uh, can maintain that. Uh, I shudder to think trying to organise a conference of 2,000 people, but uh, yeah, I think that uh, we eventually will uh, we will stop doubling every year like just like the, the industry itself will probably stop doubling every year at, at some point but we'll see so you said like right now are we do you think we're going to sell out or can people still register what people oh, well, listening to this conference a couple of days before uh, are they still going to be able to come along 
Yep, it's still open for another couple of days, but I would urge people who are thinking of attending to really register as soon as possible. If you remember last year, we had a wait list and had to turn a number of people away, and right. I don't ever want to be in the situation, of, again, of having to deny people tickets. Right, right. Yeah. So we'll, like, on the, in the show notes here on, on the lendacademy.com, we will have links, obviously, to the Lend it conference, you'll also see a nice banner if you're watching this on your computer on the right hand side that will take you directly to Lend it to be able to register. So, yeah, I think, you know, I don't think we're going to sell out this year because the Hilton Hotel is such a large hotel. There, you know, we can have, you know, upwards of 1,200 people, and I don't think we're going to get, you know, more than 500 people or more than 450 people register in the next six days. But of course, you never know, do you? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we just have an incredible amount of space, you know, it be between even just in the, the exhibit hall and the main ballroom. I mean, that that's, you know, over, you know, 30,000 square feet. Right, which which is probably, I don't know, uh, it's, it's, it's got to be five to five or six times the space, maybe even more than that, that we had last year, I would guess. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so before I wrap it up, just want to, you want to just give the listeners some closing thoughts about Lendit 2014? Yeah, I just want to say, you know, I'm really looking forward to reconnecting with familiar faces as well as establishing many new relationships. You know, as much as I value the education component of Lendit, the relationships that I've established through Lendit have opened so many new doors to business opportunities. And I'm just, you know, really looking forward to that as well. Yep, yep, me too, me too for sure. I am, you know, I think that's what meeting the people, that's sort of the main benefit I think of coming to these conference conferences is is the relationships that you you establish there. So, great. Well, thanks a lot, Dara. I appreciate you coming on the podcast and uh, I look forward to seeing you at Lend at 2014 later this week. Oh, me too. Thanks so much, Peter. Okay. See ya. Bye-bye. Okay, so hopefully that will give you a bit of background for Lend on Lender 2014. If you are interested in coming, as I said, we almost certainly will not be sold out. So you will be able to buy tickets up until the day of the conference, which is May 4th. So if you just go to lender.co and you click on the register button and you will be able to find out all about the conference and be able to register right on the spot there. And if you are listening to this after May 6th, then I am sorry, but Lend It 2014 is over for this year. However, don't despair. We actually uh, have recorded all of the main sessions and we'll be putting them up on our YouTube channel. What I recommend you do is sign up for our Lend It email list. That way you'll be able to keep in touch. We will let people know when all of the videos have been edited and put on to YouTube and you'll be able to watch almost the entire conference there from the comfort of your own PC. On that note, I will sign off. And uh, of course, we will be having Lend It 2015 sometime in May or June of next year. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much. 